my tips for second year and accommodation is make sure that you find who you're going to be living with um, soon but mainly find the property because a lot of properties will be going um, try and get in a safe area but it depends you know the, the cheaper areas around Hyde Park area but um, they're not considered to be as safe um, but then you get further afield like in Headingley but it takes longer to get into the university where it only took me like five minutes so you know this area was perfect so if you're looking for second year or third year accommodation you want to stick basically around the University of Leeds because that's the safest area around the road so something that when I was in first year the third year and second years always told me was get your clinical placements get your clinical assessments done out of the way as soon as you can and I thought yeah that, fine will do I didn't I did my spine clinical assessment, which is one of your first year assessments, on the last day of placement. But to be fair, that wasn't my fault because spine assessments are very rare to come across and I didn't realise how rare it was. So I didn't have enough practice and I wasn't um, confident enough to do this my spine assessment um, up until right at the end. So. Every spine assessment that came across right at the start, I thought, you know, it's fine, I'll do it later, I don't feel prepared yet, but that was completely wrong of what to do. When you come across something that you don't know how to do it, ask, seriously, just ask a radiographer, could you go through this with me, like, how would you do this? Because the ones that you don't know how to do are the ones you need to do the most. If you can do a hand x-ray and that's a piece of cake, then you know, if you've done your assessment, don't focus on doing hand x-rays. Focus on the ones that you're struggling on so that you can practice on them and so that you can do your clinical assessments as soon as possible. Because it's not just you trying to get all these hard assessments out of the way. You've got all your other class doing the exact same thing. So when a spine does come across, for example, and there's four other students who also want to do that as their assessment, only one person will get it. And so if you've already got your assessments done and out of the way, then, you know, you're scot-free for the rest of the year. You don't have to worry as much. So my advice is potentially try and get one done in your first um, block placement. It does seem very early, but if you, because you're in placement so much, if you're just sticking with a radiographer and you're just doing upper limb ex examinations, for example, over and over again, you'll get it especially if you're doing mocks, you know, it's a lot easier to do. So any that you don't know how to do, which even in third year, I'm guilty of. For example, in third year, we have to do mandibles, so like your jaw, um, we have to get experience in those. I didn't know how to do them at the start and I didn't want to, any mandible that came across, I didn't want to do it because I didn't know how really, but that was still wrong of me. I needed to ask a radiographer and they just went through it and then now I can do mandibles and, you know, I'm prepared to start my new job in July.